Hello, wonderful person, this is Anton, and welcome to... PewDiePie video? No. This is not another April Fool's joke, and this is not a prank. This is actually a kind of an experiment. A mathematical experiment, a social experiment, and actually an attempt to see if the so-called PewDiePie phenomenon is actually a thing. Anyway, let me explain to you what I mean, and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> Anyway, as we're watching these moons explode and crash onto the surface of our planet, we're going to be talking about what exactly am I going to try to do in this video. You know, once in a while I do like to experiment and just to try kind of new things, I want to see if I can maybe uh, use math in something educational, use some kind of a psychological or um, physics experiment, and this is actually a kind of a bit of everything. Now. I've been watching quite a lot of YouTube recently and one of the PewDiePie videos mentioned that a lot of people have actually been using his name to try to get more views. Well, you know, he was going through a lot of drama and there's a lot of things going on in his personal but also professional life and because of this obviously people started using his name to get those views. And I thought to myself, well listen, you know, I don't really care about the view part but I do want to explore this. PewDiePie phenomenon. I actually want to find out if putting PewDiePie in the title, in the video, and basically making the entire video about PewDiePie would somehow, maybe, just maybe, change the uh, average views that this particular video gets. So there you go, welcome to the experiment. We're going to be creating the PewDiePie system and we're going to see uh, if within about, I don't know, a couple of weeks, this video gets on average more likes, dislikes and views than other videos that I have. We're going to actually explore this and maybe in a few weeks I will make another follow-up video where we're actually going to mathematically try to calculate that PewDiePie factor. Basically, you know, what would actually happen to your videos if you made them with PewDiePie in the title? Let's find out what happens, right? This is what this is all about, this is education, and anyway, let's do this. So, how we're going to do this? Well, we're going to start with a blank new simulation and we're going to place a star in here and this is actually going to, going to be kind of symbolic of what actually happened to PewDiePie. We're going to place the most massive star out there and it's going to represent PewDiePie because you know he is the or was well I guess still is technically the most popular YouTuber out there. And the star I'm referring to is also known as R136A1. This is a star um, in the neighboring galaxy Large Magellanic Cloud. And it's actually a star that's responsible for creating one of the most incredible uh, nebula out there. The biggest nebula visible to us known as the Tarantula Nebula that you see right here on your screen. So if you do have a telescope, it's something that you may want to try to find in the night sky. Anyway, so he's going to be that particular star. And what is going to happen to him is that he's obviously going to explode and then either become um, a neutron star, a black hole, or possibly disappear completely. There's a big chance, there's a very big chance that he's going to turn into a black hole, but let me just first rename the star. And so there you go, this is the PewDiePie star in all of its glory. Let's see what happens to it if we change this particular thing right here and it goes supernova. It's going to be a very brilliant, very beautiful supernova. Symbolic of his real situation, I guess, because he kind of lost a lot of contracts and a lot of uh, money from doing a few stupid things like making some jokes he should have been making. But you know, what happened has happened. And so, as predicted, he turned into a black hole, a black hole of about 15 masses of sun. We're going to name this black hole Pewds the Black Hole. And so, there's Pewds the Black Hole, and it's going to stay right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to place a few other objects around it just to kind of represent, you know, important people, I guess, or important things, or I guess animals um, that are in his life. And these are going to be the um, objects orbiting around this black hole. And the first such object is going to be represented by Spica, another star, and we're just going to kind of place it maybe somewhere right here on the outskirts. And this is going to be um, his girlfriend, of course, another YouTube star by the name of Marcia. So there is Marcia, and there is uh, Pews the Black Hole. It sounds kind of bad if, when I call him that, eh? Pews the Black Hole. Sounds like another word that I'm not going to say, because this is a family channel. Anyway, Marcia is right there. Let's place a few other objects 
Um, and maybe this is just going to be his pets because I think his pets have always appeared in his videos. So we're going to just place them around, um, Pews the black hole as well and see what actually happens to this system afterwards. Now, interestingly, um, when I actually enabled realistic mode for Pewds the Black Hole, he suddenly shrunk. He became tiny, tiny, tiny. He became super small, way smaller than Mars here, the star. Um, and not in terms of mass, but in terms of the actual volume, in terms of, in terms of the actual size. So the radius of this particular black hole is only seven kilometers now compared to Mars here, the star. That's like uh, over five million kilometers in radius. So yeah, there's a bit of a realistic mode here that changed the black hole that's only about 15 masses of the sun into something that it's actually a little bit more manageable and you, as you can see they actually are orbiting around one another in a very beautiful sort of a dance um around the supernova that's still left here which actually kind of is very symbolic when you think about it you know because they are dating anyway let's add those animals um let's add his pets and they're going to orbit around him as well but we're going to place them a little bit closer all of the pets are going to be just regular planets and we're going to just go for like randomly generated rocky planets here that we're going to place somewhere close to Pewds the black hole. And so here they are, there's three dogs and then there's one tool that he has. Uh, in no particular order, this is Maya, Ink, Edgar and his toad Slippy. He gets to be a gas giant because why not? Anyway, so we're going to run this and then see what happens to all of his pets I have a bad feeling about this, but uh, we'll find out in a few seconds what is going to... Okay. Yep. I killed his pets. I basically turned them into tiny, or I guess giant, rings orbiting around this black hole that shredded them to pieces. Okay. Maybe not the best thing to do to animals, but yeah. Anyway, so his pets are now uh, millions of fragments orbiting around and um, actually expelling tremendous amounts of incredibly beautiful uh, radiation, particles, jets, and gas. Uh, I think Slip is actually shrinking as we speak. He's becoming smaller and smaller because he's it's losing so much gas right now due to the proximity to the star and the proximity to the black hole. But this is actually an effect I've never seen before, so I'm kind of happy I made this video. So if you place a black hole and a star, inside the uh, actual supernova you might observe this kind of a cool effect on a gas giant and it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller and losing quite a lot of mass as you can see right here oh wow it's now a terrestrial planet that's really cool anyway so unfortunately his animals are kind of not as uh, I imagined them when I was uh, planning this video they turn into fragments and basically disappeared look at that Slippy now is now a ghost I've actually talked about how I made this in one of the previous videos when I explored one of the bugs in the game. But look at that, it's a ghost Slippy. Anywho, moving on. Well, actually, that's really all I wanted to do in this video. I wanted to create the system that's named PewDiePie that has his characters, or I guess his uh, um, pets and his girlfriend in it in some way or another. And his girlfriend is somewhere right there. And uh, find out experimentally what will actually happen to this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully we'll get some mathematical results in a couple of weeks, and we'll explore them in another video, where we're going to calculate the so-called PewDiePie factor. Or as you can probably imagine, it does have a psychological term, or specifically just a term that's applied to journalism usually, and it's called sensationalism. We're going to talk about this in the next video, and we're going to explore this in more detail as well. So, you know, this kind of a bias is actually very common in all of us, but like I said, this is the end of this video, so come back into part two of this when we're going to explore this after we get some more mathematical data through basically your viewership. Anyway, subscribe, share this video, I'll see you in the next video where you're going to learn something else educational, something using video games, or something related to space, sciences, or math. Space out, guys. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to come back to watch another video. See you later. Bye-bye. And let's actually take another look at what's actually happening with this system. Whoa, look at that. This is crazy. All of his poor pets have been shredded into tiny fragments. And this is actually the power of um, small solar-sized black holes. They can shred things through their tidal forces to the extreme. Anyway, very, very beautiful. Quite an unusual look. Bye-bye.